For decades, solar panels have looked like this, this, and this. But what if there were invisible panels available today that looked more like this, maybe this, and even this? Today we're in Toronto, Canada, home to the world's largest manufacturer of integrated solar products and one of its most innovative too. Wow, check this out. So this machine is actually making the solar cells right here. It's really fascinating to watch. Take a look. Mitrex is one of the only companies in the world that makes solar panels that blend into and can feature the appearance of just about any material or color. As you get closer and up close, you can actually see that it is solar panels, but from a distance, it looks just like the brick. It completely blends in. To me, that is such a cool option to have something that you know doesn't destroy the look of the building. Their state-of-the-art facility in Toronto allows the company to produce up to 25,000 square feet of integrated solar products per day. With over 500 megawatts of production capacity in 2022 and expanding to 3 gigawatts in 2023. And they're the only manufacturer that produces solar products in North America from start to finish. Whether it's solar facades, this is all solar panel right here. And we're getting ready to go onto the roof and check it out solar windows and railings, and most recently, colored solar panels for residential rooftops. Mitrex believes they can turn any surface that the sun touches into an energy source without compromising beauty or aesthetics. These are basically uh, colored solar panels. Uh, they're exactly like any other solar panel you can find in the market. That's the only option in the market, a standard solar panel, which they were designed for farms and industrial building, not residential. But people will start putting it on their roofs and it is what it is. When you have only one option, what are you gonna do? You have to accept it. If the first solar panel that was coming out, people, they knew they have an option of having a color one that match or is closer to the roof versus the one that doesn't match, I think everyone would have, you know, picked the one that is closer to the roof or something that's more aesthetically pleasing. So when we talk to people about why they don't like solar panels, a lot of what they say is that they're ugly, they don't like the look of them, but with these colored solar panels, it's almost virtually indistinguishable from the actual roof itself. Take a look at this house. It has this gorgeous slate roof, but the panels look just like the slate roof. Take a look for yourself. Mitrix already has several projects in the area where its solar shingles or colored solar panels have been integrated into beautiful homes. The panels blend right in from afar, while from above, not visible from the street. Mitrix outfitted the homes with its traditional panels too. What makes the colored panels unique is that they use the exact same installation methods as traditional panels, so you're not restricted by install challenges that those costlier options like Tesla solar tiles can present. And if you're curious what the back of one of these things looks like, check it out. They're very lightweight too. From efficiency point of view, if you look at a roof, you barely can find someone who has maximized 100% of the roof area. Usually you go to 40%, 50%, 60%, it's enough. It's producing enough, it's an optimum point. That's why we are not really focused on, is it like a 22% or is it 21%? These panels, they're pretty close to the standard solar panels. They are not like 50% lower. They're barely lower than standard panels. Just for an example, we have these panels as a 380 watt or 340 watt for the colored one. So we are losing 40 watt per panel, which is nothing in the large grand scheme of all these solar roof installations. The company's fully automated manufacturing facility was a sight to see. The custom design production plant allows for sustainable manufacturing to 96% of recyclable materials, guaranteeing a low carbon production. The solar cells are sandwiched underneath a customizable tempered glass facing that have a standard frame, allowing them to blend in while producing up to 350 watts of power per panel. 
In all of our years covering solar tech on this channel, it's obvious that the combination of price and aesthetics remains the greatest barrier in adopting the technology. Companies like Tesla do offer attractive solar tiles, but as of 2022, they're one, not readily available, and two, have a payoff period that can be as long as 30 plus years. Mitrex, on the other hand, believes it has struck the perfect balance of aesthetics and affordable cost, whereas colored solar panels can mimic your existing roof while competing with the cost of traditional solar panels on the market. It's as if we say, you know, if you, you have a car, we don't paint it because cost, it costs more. Everyone says, I'm okay with the non-painted cars. Imagine if you had a city with the cars not painted. You know, we will save some cost, yeah. but what are we getting in return? We get a bunch of ugly cars that are driving in our city. Um, it's just anything else that we have, like buildings that we have. We spend a lot of money on the cladding. We have a cladding material that's a solar application. We, can, we don't have to clad them. We can just insulate them and put a plastic on top or tarp them or some sort of water barrier, waterproofing it, and that's it, you're done. But it's gonna be a really ugly building. So I want you to take a look at their headquarters back here and look closely because it's pretty much all invisible solar that we're looking at. You can't even tell that there is solar in these colored panels because they're beautiful. I mean, this is like, you know, it just looks like it's part of the architecture, part of the design, but it's actually generating electricity in such a clean, natural way. Um, I really feel like this is the future. But for some reason, when it comes to solar panels, there was no option. There is no option even mm -hmm. today. You know, even with our option, it still is very limited. We're just scaling up the production for it and its distribution. It's really just thinking outside the box for a second. With this perspective in mind, Mitrix says the future of residential solar will be for panels to match the personality of the home, blending in with the neighborhood, not the other way around. This is exactly like a standard solar panels. We did not change anything when it comes to installation. So when it comes to calculation for the wind load, the snow, when it comes to racking system, connection details, exactly like a solar panel. This is a solar panel with a frame it only has a color added to the glass. And the color, by the way, it's not a print. It's not on the surface. It's inside the glass. So the only way you can take out the color is by melting the glass again and trying to separate those colors. It's a coating within the glass. You have a warranty, a lifetime warranty on the colors. This is, just to give you an idea, this is very similar to the churches in Europe. Those colored windows, they have been there for thousands of years. They're always red, yellow, stays the same. It's a similar concept. The colors are embedded. How long does that whole process take? We want to put solar on our roof. How long would it take them to install? The installation of the solar panels are a one day process, but waiting for permits, document, that might take some time. But once everything is in place, the physical installation is usually about a day work. So as a consumer, if somebody wants to order these and have them, what is that process like? Depends on the area that they're in. They can go to the distributors or installers in their area, or they can directly purchase some of the panels from our website. Typically, if they buy it from the distributor, they will get a better price because of the size and volume of the distribution. Our website would be higher cost when it comes to shipping the panels, but they can buy direct or from the distributors. And the purpose of this is not to match the shingle because the shingles, they age. Eventually, the shingles, they might fade, they change color. It's about to camouflage them and make them less noticeable. So our panels are fully tested against the hail test, the snow, the different criterias of testing that we have to go through, and they have one of the highest rating of testing. The warranty that we have is 25 years. So in 25 years, these panels, they have paid off multiple times. So in terms of cost, because you're getting a lot more than just the traditional solar panel here, you're getting something that looks great too. How does it compare? So it's a slightly more expensive, but on an overall of the project, on a typical, let's say, 10 kilowatt system, the cost is only slightly higher than the non-colored one, which is like 10% of the overall cost will increase, which is not a huge difference because of the look and the exposure that you can get from these panels. There is a slight increase in cost, yes, um, and that's, a, that's part of the basically getting a better product compared to the one that doesn't look like this. I just think it's such a great option. It's something that I always think about wanting solar, especially driving a Tesla and any kind of EV for that matter, because you're really getting that clean energy and being able to fuel 
your vehicle from clean energy. So this whole concept of doing these integrated solar technologies into the panels, how, how did you come up with this idea? Um, so originally we, you know, we are coming from cladding industry. As a cladding company, we provide different materials for covering the buildings. A couple of years ago, a hot summer day, I was touching one of our projects. It was a dark material and it was really hot. And I was thinking, why are we not utilizing? Why are we not harvesting this energy? This is just going to waste. We are heating up the building and at night it just dissipates and we will not be able to utilize it. And that was just the idea to start researching. So can you guys even tell which side is solar and which side isn't? That's how cool this company is, is that this is all solar panels, an entire wall collecting all that energy. Um, it's just really cool to see all this integrated solar technologies and what Mitrex can actually do. What we are hoping to achieve is people who are resistant to use solar panels because of the color and how they look like. We are hoping by this we open new doors for them. So another category and group of people that are not entering the solar market we are hoping this will open the doors for them and they come in. So personally, I live in a neighborhood where we have a big HOA and right now the builder still runs the HOA and does not want to allow solar because they don't like the look of the traditional solar panels. Now, they're not aware of this. After we make this video, we're definitely going to be sending it to them as a possible option, but it does, it fills that gap between, you know, what Tesla's offering with its own shingle, Tesla solar roof, versus the traditional solar panels. Um, it's a great hybrid option and it looks, looks great too. Yeah, this is one of those things that creating the awareness and getting people to know this exists is the hardest part. But we have done the manufacturing, we have done the design, the engineering, the R&D. Now it's the time to just bring it to market and show people that this is here and it's a real and viable option. As the company continues to expand, they've announced a new 400,000 square foot manufacturing facility in the US with a production capacity of 2.5 gigawatts. They're expected to break ground in early 2023. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. And if you want to learn more about Mitrex, its solar roof and other solar products, check out the link in the description below or visit Mitrex.com. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.